excited he was about getting to do his job mm -hmm. and then to hear him say that just confirmed it. Yeah, and critical information they're able to get from the skies from up above. So great mm -hmm. job by them always doing such important work. Quieter weather here this week. We had the barrel week and the lead up to that storm. Then last week it kind of felt like it was fairly active on the radar. We had numerous days with scattered showers in the forecast. Not the case, at least for the first couple of days this week. Tropics quiet, no areas of interest out there. Primarily because of all of the dust in the Atlantic Caribbean, in the Gulf of Mexico, and in our atmosphere right now. You see the dust. Uh, showing up there. We're going to get a little bit more this week. Some ebbs and flows. It's going to kind of wax and wane, if you will. And we'll have another little batch of it come in over the weekend. So hazy skies because of that. The air quality also a little bit lower with the dust in place. The Lexcam, perhaps a hint of it showing up right now. We're looking to the west, uh, but Air quality, not the best. We do have moderate conditions on that right now. 91 with the air temperature feels like 102. Little breezy, but overall not terrible for the middle of July here. There are those showers and storms over Mexico we were referencing earlier, and we're going to be looking to the north for a front. Believe it or not, later this week, it's not going to get cool here. It's not going to even, you know, be any relief, but this front is going to work to the south. The parent area of low pressure that will track toward the Great Lakes region as we move into the middle part of this week. And that movement is going to send this front a little bit farther to the south by Wednesday afternoon. It'll be through the panhandle and into North Texas with some shower and thunderstorm activity there. And as the front continues to work to the south, it will lose its you know push. It'll lose any semblance of cool air that it has with it, and it'll become stationary by the time it gets to about the I-10 corridor. That's Friday afternoon, but what this will do is help pool some of the available moisture that we'll have in our atmosphere, and that may lead to scattered showers and thunderstorms, not unlike the way we saw the second half of last week. So just isolated stuff before Friday with that front becoming stationary on Friday over the area. That's where I do think we see that little uptick in the rain chances. Again, no real relief in the temperature department. Mid 90s heat index up around 105 to 110 each day over the next seven. Tonight, 78, partly cloudy, warm and humid. Southeast breeze fairly light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, 95 under a blend of sun and clouds. A little haze out there, too. Southeast breeze, 5 to 15, gusts up to around 20 miles per hour. If you're out on the water, nice day for it. Southeasterly breeze coming in 3 to 10 knots. Very smooth in the morning. Light chop in the afternoon. Moon phase, a waxing gibbous out there uh, in the night sky. I don't even know if it's in the day or night right now that it's up. I don't pay too much attention to the moon set and moonrise unless it's a full moon. What, That's what, what I was really want to look. What? Waxing gibbous. So it's past okay. the half moon working toward full moon. That's okay. what that means. Um, and if we're going to have, I think, a decent shot at rain over the next seven right now, Friday, kind of pegging that day for the best chance. But still, not everyone gets it at 60%. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, Alan, thank you for all of that. Meantime